Also controlling our partner is a really good drill to get used to applying our weight and getting our weight distribution right. Uh, we call this the wobble ball drill. Okay, so Martin lays down on his back. What you're going to do, you're going to lay on your partner. You're going to try and put your, your chest just here. Okay, you don't want it too far over. Mine's going to start raising his hips up or raising his shoulder up. So he's got four corners. One, two, three, and four. So he's going to start raising his hips together or raise one hip, one shoulder. All I'm going to do is place my body on top of him. And I just want to feel where he's moving. So if he's bringing his shoulder up, I apply a little bit of pressure. Not too much that I'm going to be able to get bridged off this side. Okay, he starts raising his, his hips up. Okay, I'm not going to be able to flatten his hips down, but I just put a little bit of weight down on there. Okay, I don't want to put all of it because then he'd be able to sit up. Okay, so I try and keep my weight centered. Okay, so like a wobble board. Okay, so he brings his shoulder up, brings the opposite shoulder up or hips, and I'm just learning to feel where the weight is and just ironing him out and trying to keep him nice and flat. Now, the next level of this will be you to try and close your eyes. It's really important in grappling that yeah, you get some sort of tactile sensitivity. So if you had to feel pressure, pushing, pulling, okay, and movement, raising, falling, rotating. Okay, so it's really important to try and work on this drill with your partner. Just spend a couple of minutes just working on your wobble board drill.